Hi, welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. This is another beginner's tutorial for doing modeling. Um, uh, and in this video, we are going to look at how we create more complex shapes. So we've got um, a cuboid with a circle or a rounded end, hole through, and then we've got a bit more of a complex geometry around the outside. Um, this is tutorial six in the series. So if you've not watched the others, I'll put a link up at the top for you to pop back and have a look at some of the others. These are really useful activities for those of you getting started with SOLIDWORKS. Um, if you're new to the channel, please give us a big thumbs up if you're liking the content and subscribe to the channel. Everything helps um, and it'll just help us to make more and more content as we go. Okay, right. Well, let's get started. Right, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the bottom shape for this. So on the top plane, I'm going to sketch. And I am going to sketch a rectangle. And put some sizes to that. So my rectangle is going to be... 40 by 40, so we're actually I'm creating a square. 40 by 40. Okay. Now, on one side of that, I want a arc around. So, I'm going to come to my uh, fillet tool here, click fillet, and I'm going to click this edge. Now, at the moment that's set at 10, I want that to go to 20. And we'll round off that edge for me and just tick there. Okay, so once I've got that shape, I also want a hole through the center. So I could extrude that down or I could put it in at this point. So if I put a circle in here now, like so, from the center of there, and dimension that up, that's going to be 20 diameter. And then extrude that up now. So if I go to features and extrude, what well, that'll do is it'll extrude up with that hole in the center of that shape. Now this is going to come up to a height of 40. So let's bring that up 40 there. Like so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tick that and that's giving me my basic or ge generic shape but I have a lot of detail on this top here now I could add, I could have added that in or I could have taken it away uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it from this okay now the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start off by removing the section of material out of here so I'm going to sketch on this top plane and I'll sketch on there and I'm going to start off by drawing a rectangle. Move to this top plane, so I've got that straight on. So hit the space bar, click the top plane. And I'm going to draw this rectangle on here, like so. OK. Now, I want this to be 10 offset from each side. So 10 off there and 10 off there. Now I've got that offset, what I'm going to do is I am going to set this distance down the side to be 30, this distance down across this side to be 30 as well. It just means then that I've got my fully defined drawing. I'd like to have the fully defined drawings. No blue lines, or black lines. Um, from there, I'm going to extrude that, cut that out, and I am going to come down 20. So, features, cut that down, and I want to go 20 mil down. So, giving me them outer profiles. So with them two outer profiles, then wall still on the back, I can cut in the shapes that I want to, to um, remove. So if I click on there, I sketch on there, I can now make the rough shape that I want. So I'm going to start on this bottom corner, I'm going to come up, 
go across, come down, across, up, and then up to the top here is a diagonal. And I'm going to close that off. Now to extrude anything, I must have it as a closed region. So I've just closed that off there. I'm just going to make them two lines um, a relationship. So if I turn this straight on, you can see they are not at the same height and they should be. So I'm just going to click that corner and click that corner and make them horizontal to each other. So they'll stay at the same height. Here then I'm going to put some sizes to this. I'm going to measure that from the bottom to there. That should be 10. It should also be 10 across. Okay. Now this line here is attached to the center where my circle intersects that. So I know that's 20 long, so that must be 10. And it's fully defined that because that's locked to the same height. Close this off. So from that then, I should be able to go to Features, Extrude, and remove that shape from the material there. Take that. And that material's gone. We get rid of that back wall. And I'm going to do the same on this bit here. So I'm going to sketch on there, hit space, turn it so it's straight on. And I'm going to sketch on that back wall section. So starting from this bottom corner, I'm going to come up diagonal, go across 10, and then up diagonal again. And then to close this off, I'm going to sketch around that outside region so that I've got an area there that I want to remove the material. So I'm going to have to dimension this up. So that's going to be 10 across. It's also going to be 10 up. So I want that gap to be 10. That will fix this line now. I don't need to dimension that because it's fixed at that top end and this height and the end point there is set given me the region that I want to cut out of this shape as well. So I'm just going to trim that away. Features, extrude, and get rid of all that material there. Like so. Giving me the shape that I want to finish off with. So with that, I just like to add a material at the end. So let's go for an appearance. Let's change that appearance. Let's give it a color. Um, uh, let's go green. And there we go, we finished that component. So that was tutorial um, six on the uh, modeling guide for beginners. So hopefully that was useful. Just trying a few little techniques there, um, removing material at multiple points. They like say if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, give us a big thumbs up and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the content i'll continue to develop more content as we go um uh, like i say check out some of the other beginner's guide modeling activities if you're getting started with solidworks they're always very useful um uh, and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye now